Remember this first. Jesus meant every word that he ever spoke, and every word he spoke was true. That means that number one, he meant what he said on the cross. He said, it is finished. Jesus' sacrifice is the conquering of your greatest struggles, your darkest nights, and your deepest fears. It, it, it's victory over sin, all of sin, past, present, and future. It's victory over the sting of death, meaning that his physical bodily resurrection means that ours will eventually be resurrected too. This means that there's more to life than just this. There's more to life than just this physical life that we live. It's victory over sickness, over depression, anxiety, panic, pain, and suffering. The reality of the resurrection is a war cry of victory. Number two, he meant what he said about his resurrection. Jesus said, nobody takes my life from me. I willingly lay it down and I have the power to take it back up again. Nobody else in history ever talked like that because nobody dared make a claim like that unless he was God himself in the flesh. He's the one who confidently said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he dies, he shall live. And then he made you and me the greatest promise in all of life when he said, because I live, you also will live. And number three, he meant what he said about you. He said, nobody has greater love than this, that he would lay his life down for his friends. A friend. Have you ever seen yourself as a friend of God? Like most people in the world think, like when they think of God, they think of some cosmic killjoy who just can't wait to punish them. That's the furthest thing from what Jesus just said. He said, I love you so much that I gave my own life for you. I laid it down for you and I came back from the dead and I conquered death for you so that when your day comes and after all you've been through, it'll be worth it and you'll be with me. And so that every day until then, I'll be with you. I'm never gonna leave you. I'm never gonna let you down. Doesn't matter if that's 80 years from now, if you'll just trust me and you'll believe that I am who I say I am, that I'll be with you each and every step of the way, each and every day. He meant what he said when he said, I'll never leave you. It's the same thing that he said to his disciples. He says it to you and me. He says, I'm not going to leave you as orphans and I'll, I'll still be with you. In fact, I'll be with you so close, I'm going to send you a helper. I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit who's going to be with you forever. And that word there for the Holy Spirit is paraclete, which means helper, advocate, and counselor. Like, I don't know about you, but I could definitely use some help in life, right? A lot of help. I could use an advocate, someone who's a go-between, an intercessor, someone who pleads on my behalf when I mess it all up or I don't have the strength to fight. I definitely need him as my counselor, right? Someone to guide me and to teach me and to give me the wisdom that I need every day to navigate this incredibly crazy world that we live in. Guys, the reason that I specifically chose these three things that Jesus said is because, yes, they speak to the reality and the hope of eternal life in the future, but he's also speaking of the reality of the life that we live in the here and now. I think that's what a lot of people miss. It's not just eternity we're looking for. It's, it's eternal life now. It's walking with him now. He's called the Savior for a reason because he didn't just save us from our sins in a spiritual sense. He gives us the power and the strength and the courage to live in a world full of sin and full of brokenness and full of pain right now. Like pandemic now, like terminal cancer diagnosis now, divorced now, pay cut now, confusion now, fear now. It's the here and now. In all of that, he's with us right now because of the reality of the resurrection. And you have a helper, you have an advocate, you have a counselor each and every day through it because of the reality and the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, it's tied to the power of the Holy Spirit. They have everything to do with each other. And here's one more bonus thing that Jesus said. He said, I've told you all these things so that in me you'll have peace. In this world, you're gonna have trouble, but take heart, I've overcome the world. He said, you're not alone today. The reality of the resurrection is the reality that Jesus Christ is risen that he is alive, that he is active both in your life and in the world today. So I hope this encourages you today. I hope it gives you the strength and peace to just trust him with, with all of your heart, right? If you struggle with some of this stuff or you need or want prayer for any reason, let me know in the comments. Like I'd be honored to walk with you and pray for you and, and just lift you up to the one who loves you and who gave himself up for you. So God bless you. I'll see you next time. And until then, keep seeking Christ first in your life.